Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we are going to do an open mouth of a beast and showing how to do teeth inside the beast. So we will uh, be focusing somewhat on the head of the beast. Let's put in a one oval, let's put in another oval like that so two ovals to start off now this could really be any beast but we will do something a bit of out of the ordinary so let's do like a lion like thing let's have some fun with this so So when you have to show the teeth, it means that you have to show an open mouth. So I have done something along that line. Let's say this guy has some, some serious skin folds here. And I mentioned line like so it means that could be a dragon could be a, a cat we could go about one of so many different ways but as long as we highlight the feature that we are we intend to work on and that is the teeth so I put in some kind of mouth there Say the lower jaw has some fur. Okay, so many of you are familiar that we can show the teeth in one of so many different ways. So since I put the mouth in that particular angle, we are going to go right across and put the teeth so realistically all the teeth are not necessarily even but I mean they are for the most part so you could individually draw them and then just like go like that toward the end. So there's a bit of the exposed gum. So the trick is whether we are showing the mouth from the from the bottom, showing that uh, that horseshoe, or whether we are showing it from the top or the bottom the, the real trick comes when we put this row of teeth down so we have to show it both from this angle and looking downward so to best do it we start off with the easiest pair and that is those two And then we have to have everything going like this way. So the flow is like that. So you could start putting in some lines like that and then go like this. And then along this line, again, to start off you could just go like let's say that he has lesser teeth here just go like that even like form a complete reverse C in this particular case and then you have to imagine that there will be a line that's running right across that first bend in the C so that you could just work along with it 
and then we begin giving the teeth that little dimension we require and just put in that much for an effect line but here now it's going that way so so I've purposefully put in many teeth there so that we could just work through the exercise and that's like pretty much it and then along that line of course going that way the same exercise just that far and then give it that much dimension and that is one quick trick to putting down some beastly teeth so I do try it out it's a lot of fun uh, it requires some patience especially if it's a big uh, mouth and it, I mean it has a lot of teeth but realistically a mouth like this big yeah those are fine it would probably have teeth just numbering those many but I've, I've put an extra so that we could just like you know work with it but realistically it might be just that much there might be four in the front and there might be again two three four just showing instead of five on that side so thank you for watching please do subscribe and keep in touch have yourself a wonderful day